Hi, so today I thought I would talk about um, something that I'm not too sure if you're all aware of. I only came across this probably about a year and a half ago. And of course, like with anything, as soon as I heard about it, I just got completely obsessed and had to order, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them, just to try them. Um, they're called BB creams. Now, from what I gather, the origin was started in Germany by a plastic surgeon who, um, after doing chemical peels and, and laser treatments, wanted to create something that was a multifaceted cream. So, basically it was to nourish and heal your skin after one of these procedures and um, also have a, a built-in SPF because, as you know, when you are taking away the top layer of your dermis um, or epidermis, um, you want to protect it from the sun so that it doesn't create damage on that fresh, beautiful pink skin. So um, it has an SPF. It's also sort of a primer, foundation. It's basically a multifaceted cream. And um, I'm not quite sure where, it, when it originated from, but the Asian market just latched onto it and has just kind of um, taken it and, and, and went gangbusters with it. So BB cream stands for blemish balm cream. And I ordered quite a few different ones. I, I found them, most of them on eBay. Um, some other ones from uh, a website in Asia. And I, I just thought it was such a, a great concept to sort of have everything in one and, um, and something that actually nourished and, and healed your skin. So I ordered five these. Gosh, I don't know if I can hold all five. I'm going to try though. All right. Woo. These ones. Um, so my take on it, it's a great concept. I think it's, it's a really, really, really great idea. I just don't understand the coloring and the tones. I don't know any human being that are these colors, actually. Um, watch some for you. Actually, this one's not too, too bad. Oh, I don't even know if you can see it. Um, they all tend to have either a really sort of pink undertone or almost a gray cast. I don't know if it's trying to work like a corrector where, um, because I'm assuming that most people are quite red, from these procedures that they're actually kind of doing a, a color correcting on it. Um, I couldn't find anything that um, really matched my skin tone that looked semi-natural. And although this, you know what's so funny, this one actually doesn't look too bad, but then again, you know, my face is a different color from my hand. So um, the, the colorings were really difficult because I had to order everything online. So you can't really, really tell and they range from about $15 to about $45 or so. It was pretty reasonable. Um, for instance, it says, with this plant one, it's um, La Eige. I'm not too sure how, that, how you pronounce that. Um, I've got one from Skin Food from... Oh, Go Woon Si Sang. That one's a Korean one. I can definitely tell from the writing on that one. Um, M Perfect Cover BB Cream, another one from M. Oh, it's Misha. Misha is what the M stands for. And um, they all have a little bit of a fragrance, but like this one says, Sun Protect plus Makeup Place, uh, Makeup Base, sorry, Skin Cover plus Foundation. While BB cream is, uh, acts effectively on irritated skin, concealing dermal blemish and helps skin rejuvenate with innovative active ingredients, blocking the penetration of UV rays and other harmful factors. Um, I'm glad that it has an SPF, although it doesn't even say what the SPF is. That's kind of odd. But anyways, um, I think... Now, I gave a, a, quite a few to a friend of mine because they just didn't work for me. I really like to look like I'm not really wearing that much makeup, um, especially my base. 
Um, I don't really like that sort of, I mean, I do like full coverage, but I'm very picky with the kind of full coverage where it just really looks like good skin. It doesn't necessarily, that you might be wearing a little something, but not where you can't see your skin through it. Um, and so I gave quite a few to my girlfriend and she loved it. She kind of um, said she put it on. She did notice it, it didn't really match, but she kind of put it on, was doing a few things, went back to it, and it kind of absorbed into her skin. And um, she kind of did one of those double takes, like, wow, is that my skin? So it does work for quite a few people. Now, I think some people use it as a primer as well and then put foundation on top of it. I think that would be, you know, heavy, heavy duty coverage there. I mean, you would just block out anything, really, and just have a completely blank canvas, which some people love that look. So if you do, then it's great to use this underneath that. Um, like I said, the, the tones were, were a little bit off and funny. If I can find one that really complements my skin tone, I probably would use it. It would almost be sort of like a tinted moisturizer to me. I wouldn't put anything on top of it. I'm hoping that it would just sort of give you a diffused look and have the SPF in one and um, because it has all of these other ingredients that are supposed to nourish your skin I, I definitely think that um, that would be something that I would use regularly it's just you know the, the colors I, I really can't find find a right match for me but then again you know like I said in my previous videos I am yellow so maybe it's just me um, here's another one now see this one is quite pink. So if you are quite pink and fair, are you going to see that? I don't know. It's not really, you know, when you're having to look at it through a screen, it's just it, the tiniest little difference in shading makes all the difference in the world. So I don't think you're going to get um, just roughly doing all of these here just to tell you. Okay, so from what I gather, if you're darker skin toned, a couple of them will work. Um, there's, But they have this weird grayish cast. Again, I think once it's absorbed, it'll be okay. So, um, yeah, if you are really, really interested in them, um, you can leave a comment and I can tell you where I purchased um, certain ones. Again, it's been about a year and something I haven't really, um, really uh, been using them all that often. But it was something that I'd never heard of and I, I really sort of think that I, I'm, you know, quite obsessed with, um, you know, all things sort of makeup and beauty, and so I was surprised that I'd actually never even heard of it up until about a year and a half ago, but it is a great concept. I just think that the coloring is um, off, but the prices are fantastic. Um, you know, 15 to 40, I think that's pretty reasonable, and um, I hope you found this useful.